Hi, I'm Jason Schiff, and you're watching The Food Guide. Today, we're highlighting one of the newest restaurants to come to Bloomington. Welcome to Bub's, a brand new burger joint in Bloomington, Indiana, but an old classic in Carmel, Indiana. Well, Bub's first was uh, designed in 2003, and my wife and I opened in May of 2003, uh, Memorial Day weekend, actually. And, uh, you know, I was in corporate sales for about 10 years prior to that. Most of my time was spent with Kellogg's, and it incorporated a lot of traveling. So I'd typically leave Monday and hopefully come home Friday. And, you know, recently married, that was fine, but once we were married longer and we started having kids, you know, things changed. So, realized that you know maybe moving home and opening a restaurant was a good idea which back then everyone we said that to were like are you out of your mind so um, but we've just been very blessed and lucky how the whole thing's turned out over the past seven years you know this is the Bubs Bloomington is our second location and uh, and uh, just the, the first location in Carmel is just doing wonderful and this is so far so good when you step foot into the restaurant, you're greeted by the grinning faces on the wall of previous customers who have conquered the one, two, and even three Big Uglies. Bubs proudly called itself the home of the Big Ugly Burger, a 22-ounce hand-pattied hunk of ground chuck. Cooked down, the burger weighs in at a full pound, and that's without the standard lettuce, tomato, and onion. It's important to note that if you want to have your picture up on the wall of the restaurant, you've got to eat everything on your plate down to the crumbs. As big as the burger is, there is no sacrifice on quality. The, the, the big burger, you know, we knew we, we wanted to have a big burger concept, um, but we couldn't figure out a name. So my wife and I, at the time we were living in Kalamazoo, Michigan, you know, what you pay advertising firms, advertising firms thousands of dollars to do, we did over a couple beers on our couch, you know. The, the name Bub was actually a nickname I had growing up, Bubby. But I thought Bubs was a little bit more of a masculine name, so we, you, know, you know, the one syllable, Bubs, concept was, was kind of born and we knew we wanted to have that one burger like I said but we couldn't figure out a name so we're sitting there having a couple beers and we decided that look I couldn't handle trying to decide what to call it so we just said the big ugly burger and we looked at each other like wait a minute big ugly burger bubs there you go so then the not so ugly then the settle for less and it's all created right there and then not being a fan of raw onions I passed on the big ugly challenge but my cameraman Matt was up for the challenge Matt had no problem finishing the one pound burger in under 10 minutes. Matt looked like he was ready for Travel Channel's Man vs. Food on that challenge, and Bubs was actually featured on Man vs. Food back in August. Huge thing for us, as it would be for any restaurant. Uh, the Man vs. Food people came to us, and like I said, it's a very huge thing for any restaurant, especially us, being a local place. And if you watch a the show, they go to a lot of local places and do their challenges. Um, they called us out of the blue believe it or not, and you know, when a national channel, like a travel channel calls you and says, hey, you might have to come and do a show, you know, no, I don't mind at all, come on in. You know, it was challenging because the day they came was Memorial Day, and that's a very busy day for us in the summertime. They wanted us to close, and obviously we couldn't do that, so if you watch the show frequently, they have kitchen shots on how the burgers are made and what we do and everything, but unfortunately that was right in the middle of our lunch rush, so things got a little hectic, but you know, we managed through it. Customers are very understanding, they understood the importance of this. It was pretty neat to see the customers' faces right when we walked in, because if you watch the show and you're eating at Bubs, and all of a sudden here comes Adam Richmond with a camera behind him, I mean, people were just like, they started hitting each other, like, look, look, you know. So it was really exciting. Bubs also has a great selection of hot dogs, including the giant Bub Dog. Twice as long as a regular Bub Dog, this is a 10-inch long, half-pound Black Angus all-beef hot dog. And of course, you can load it up with all the essentials like onion, relish, chili, cheese, and jalapenos. Waffle fries make a perfect pair with any entree item on Bub's menu, but the sloppy waffles may just be enough of a meal to eat on its own. A basket of crispy waffle fries are covered in cheddar cheese sauce, bacon, and topped with sour cream. If that's not enough for you, you can even have them throw on some hearty beef and bean chili. Even if you're not coming in for a meal, you can still stop by Bub's Ice Cream Farm located inside the restaurant. Friendly servers will hand dip a milkshake at your request in either strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, or banana. 
or try a scoop of their old-fashioned ice cream like the Bear Claw, a decadent mix of chocolate and nuts. If you want to try Bub's for yourself, it's located at 480 North Morton Street here in Bloomington, Indiana. It's located directly behind Smallwood Plaza. And again, you can give them a call at 812-331-2827. Well, that's it for today's episode. Uh, make sure you visit us online at www.iustv.com.